Prokofiev's second violin concerto has been one of my favorite pieces for uh, almost almost as long as I've played the violin. I think I uh, first got to know it through an old recording of Yasha Heifetz, uh, his first recording of the piece. I got that record when I was probably eight or nine years old, and I just remember the the magic of, of that piece. It was actually one of the pieces that started me off on quite a Prokofiev obsession. Uh, there was a period in my life where pretty much everything I listened to was either Beethoven or Prokofiev. It kind of has everything that you would want in a violin concerto. It, it, it is, uh, it also shows the various great sides of Prokofiev as a composer. You know, it has it has drama, it has mystery, it has tremendous virtuosity. Also, has real beauty. You know, we we think of um, of Prokofiev, and for many people, you know, we associate him with pieces like Romeo and Juliet. You know, these incredible uh, lyrical masterpieces that are infused with his unique kind of lyric voice. And uh, this piece was actually written uh, quite close to the period uh, that he wrote. Uh, his great ballet Romeo and Juliet. So it has, I think, a lot in common with that piece. And the second movement is one of the most beautiful things uh, written in the 20th century. The last moment is this fantastic virtuosic tour de force with wonderful interplay between the violin and the orchestra. Of course, the second movement is, is quite celebrated for this gorgeous, long melody in the violin that is accompanied by this very gentle, plucked uh, accompaniment in the strings that uh, it's memorable, that's for sure. The last movement, um, I, I always get a kick out of the orchestration. Prokofiev was such a brilliant orchestrator and the, the, the different colors and textures and the, the excitement that he achieves. And the use of the violin in sort of unusual ways, you know, it can be quite spiky, it can be quite uh, quite brilliant. There's this fantastic section where I, I briefly use a mute and create this sort of shimmering um, effect with scales up and down. It's, uh, it's really one of my favorite things, you can probably tell. <laughs>